This is literally a cold open. Hello, tourists. I'm Cal Anonymous, and welcome to another episode of Kingston's Indie Hack. So you're about to go on vacation and you want to make your photos stand out. Well, that's what we're here for, to help you get picturesque photos like these with as minimal gear and cost as possible. All right, first let's start with packing what you need and what you don't need. You won't need to pack everything, so pack light. Your DSLR kit probably has a standard lens at 18 to 55 millimeter. That's really all you need due to weight and size. Plus, you look a lot more enticing to thieves if you look like you're a walking camera store. And if you pack some sunglasses, you'll be able to use them as an indie hack and depolarizer for your iPhone. It'll help your photos out a lot. You won't need to lug around a bulky tripod. If you need to stabilize your shot, use a sweater or jacket or scarf to position the camera the way you want or you can brace yourself against a wall to stabilize your shot in low light settings. And lastly, do bring your mobile light wireless G3. With all the photos you're taking, it'll always be good to back them up. It also charges your phone, at the same time even. Thanks. All right, so here are some tips. Early morning will be the best time for photos of monuments and streets. You'll find a lot less people in your shot of the Golden Gate Bridge looking like tourists. Photograph locals when visiting new countries, but be considerate and ask first. It brings more energy and emotion and authenticity to your photos. When checking into a hotel, always ask for a room with a view to get those awesome cityscapes. A couple of extra dollars and a few words can go a long way. Obey the rule of thirds technique. That way you'll have a more interesting and dynamic frame. Imagine three lines, position your subject within those areas to get your ideal shot. When using your iPhone, use the HDR mode or high dynamic range. HDR takes three different exposure shots and combines them all and gives you a great look. Follow those rules and every single person on the beach will want you to take their photos for them. Ah, the burden of proper photography skills. I know them well. Now for a helpful hack. There are many camera straps that can hold your camera, but hanging it from your neck can get tiring after a long day. The sling strap is more comfortable and a quicker way of getting impromptu shots. Sling straps are cool, but it'll typically run you about $60. Here's how you make a $10 sling strap. You'll need the following. A camera strap that came with your camera, a snap bolt key ring, a quarter inch eye bolt with nut, a quick release or secure carabiner, and a sturdy two inch key ring. Now let's easily whip this thing together. Number one, connect both ends of the strap with the quick release screw. Two, take the key ring and add the clasp around the ring with the strap. Number three, add the eye bolt under the camera. Four, attach the clasp to the eye bolt of the camera. And finally, number five, Wear your hack with pride and with an unsore neck. Now let's talk tips and tricks for the camera in your pocket, the iPhone. This one's called Panadash and it's pretty funny. Select panoramic on your camera settings. Now have your subject start on the left side of the frame and once you start recording and moving right, have them run around you and appear on the other end of the shot before you get to the end. It'll look like there's two or three of you in the shot, like you found your twin in a far off country or beach. This one's called the Pano Drive-By. Even when you're in transit, you can get some unique shots like this one using the panoramic setting. Simply flip your camera upside down and press start while the car is in motion. It'll give you an interesting shot that you just don't see every day. The Photo Timer. A lot of people don't realize there's a camera timer setting already in your phone. So you can take group photos with everyone in the shot and avoid those squished together selfies. Just enable the setting for your timer for about 10 seconds, set the camera, and hit the red button. And that's it. Some simple tips and hacks to make your photos better than all your Facebook friends, especially Cassandra. So go out there and try them out and be sure to subscribe to our channel for future Indie Hack episodes. Aloha, or adios, or whatever language it is where you're going. Bye.